Regardless of your beliefs in a higher power, you must understand that you were not placed on this earth by accident. You were given a finite period of time here for a purpose. And that purpose will require you to use your gifts to reach your full potential. And guess what happens when you're chasing your gifts, living life on purpose, and reaching your full potential? Guess what starts to emerge and begins to grow like a wildfire? Passion. The greatest opportunity that will ever come is never going to come while you're waiting. What do I mean by that? I mean, you have to excel where you are. You have to excel while you wait for that opportunity to come. And so what do I mean by that? What I mean is you may be in a job right now that you absolutely hate and you're thinking about making this jump into what you want to do. What I have seen play out so many times is the person that is absolutely going all in, putting 100% effort and excelling where they are now, even though they hate it, always ends up finding the opportunity to transition in what they, into what they want to do. I think that I might have a little different mindset than some people about um, success in business as far as, you know, a lot of people think you have to be passionate, extremely passionate about something to be successful. And, you know, it's a beautiful thing if things line up and, it, and you have something that you're just, you know, have a burning desire every day to do. Mm -hmm. um, what I think breeds success is being passionate about being the best at whatever you're doing. Mm. You know, I can't say that I was passionate about mortgages. I didn't get yeah. up, you know, with a burning desire to go mm -hmm. write mortgages, but I had a passion to be the best mortgage banker and broker yeah. that, you know, was in the state or, you know, um, you know, with my gym, having the best studio and, and gym that there is. So for me, it was just the, the, the shift of mindset of, of where I needed to go be better mm -hmm. at something. Rarely do I find someone that's in a job that they hate and so that they so because of the fact that they aren't, aren't really into it, they're not passionate about it, they don't feel like it plays into their gifts, they just kind of coast and, and they don't go all in and they may be kind of using that company as just kind of a place to sit while they wait for the, the opportunity to come. You're not gonna, you cannot just sit down one day and get a blank piece of paper and say, okay, what is my dream career? What is my, what is my passion that I want to go all in on? These things will happen over time and it comes from putting in massive action, massive effort over a period of time for those, for those passions to evolve, for you to, for you to create more self-awareness, for you to have a better idea of who you are and what your strengths are. How can you figure out what your strengths are if you don't try things? And how are you positioning yourself in the opportunities you have right now to show that you're worthy of the opportunity that you're looking for down the road? Um, you know, to me, a lot of that has to do with with ego and the ability to get super, super lean. Like, if you've got a certain amount of income that you're able to earn right now in the, in the opportunity that you're in, you know, how lean can you get? Um, how much can you cut your expenses down? Um, you know, how, how, how little can you live off of so that you can save and save and save and chip away and chip away and chip away and chip away until it becomes feasible to make that jump into doing what you want to do, um, not necessarily what right now you have to do. Mm -hmm.